attempt to shut down or restart your computer, I'm, I'm doing sorry, that I may lead to data loss and identity again, theft. The computer lock is aimed to stop me? illegal activity. Uh, please call our support immediately. Low. Important uh, I've, security I've message. So can you hear me now? Is yeah, it better? The computer has been locked up. Better. Thank you so much. Your IP address was used without so your I've knowledge or consent to visit websites that, that contains identity theft virus. Business. To unlock the computer, um, please call support immediately. My computer's locked. Please do not attempt do. to shut down or restart your computer. Mm -hmm. Doing that may lead to Any data computer, loss and identity uh, theft. So is that a desktop the or a laptop? The computer lock is aimed what to stop it? illegal laptop. activity. Please call our support immediately. So I want you to leave Important your mouse, leave your message. keyboard. Don't your touch anything. Don't up. do anything. Okay. Unless your IP I tell you. address was used okay. without your knowledge or okay. consent to visit Now, I want you to look on your keyboard. Theft virus. On your keyboard. To unlock the computer, yeah. please call support. On the very bottom left of your keyboard. Please do not you should see a key that has a window on it. Doing the that Microsoft may lead to data loss and yeah. identity theft. Hold that the window key down. Hold it down. Stop illegal okay. activity. Please call our support. Now, while you're holding the window key down, use your message. other finger. Your computer Use your other finger, and I want you to push your on the letter R. Used without your knowledge okay, or push on the letter R. Websites that contains identity theft virus. To unlock the computer, please when you call push the R, when you push the R, you let please both the buttons go. You let them go. Your computer, doing that may lead to now, data now if you're pushing the buttons theft. correctly, you see a small box coming up on the bottom left activity. corner no, of your screen. Please call no, our support immediately. Everything Important is blocked security on my message. computer. I don't know what to do. Your computer has been locked up. Uh, I, I understand that, sir. But when you do the window and the R, if you're pushing the buttons correctly, as I say, then you will see a box coming computer, up either on the bottom left, top left, a small box please that says run. Please do not run. attempt to shut down or restart nope, your computer. Not happening. Doing that may lead to data loss and identity theft. The computer not happening. lock is aimed nope. to stop illegal activity. Please call our on support the, immediately. On the keyboard, uh, you, you see the window, right? Message. Yeah, your computer sure. has been locked up. Your IP Hold that window key down. Hold it down. To visit okay, websites okay. That contains identity theft virus. To and I want you to let computer, it go. Please call support immediately. Okay. Please do not attempt to shut down or restart your computer. You see something coming up on your screen? Yeah, anything pulled popping up? up. Pulled up my list the computer of, uh, lock is aimed to stop illegal activity. Please yes, call sir. Our support now, on the very bottom left, you see uh, you see something message. there. It says "type your here to search." Has been locked up. Yep. Your IP address was used without In that search, I want you to, to type the word "type the word virus. quick." Q U I C K. To unlock the computer, please call support immediately. Quick. Please do not attempt to shut down or restart okay, your computer. Mm -hmm. Doing that may lead to data loss and identity theft. The computer lock is aimed to stop illegal activity. Uh, after the, uh, uh, when you Please type quick, on the top it says best match. Important security message. Your computer has been locked up. No, it doesn't Your IP that. address was used without your knowledge or consent to visit websites. Now when you type that quick, what comes up? Theft virus. Uh, to unlock the computer, nothing. please call enter, support immediately. Happens. Please do not attempt to shut down or restart your computer. Doing that may lead to data loss and identity theft. The computer Nothing lock happens. is aimed to stop illegal nope. activity. Please call our support immediately. Important security message. Your computer has been okay. locked up. So I want you to uh, type used push the bu window button again. To visit websites that Hold it down and let it go. Theft virus. To okay, unlock the computer, the please call support immediately. Please do not attempt to shut down or restart your computer. Okay. I want you to push the window to again, push it once, let theft. it go. The computer okay. lock is aimed to stop illegal activity. You get a box on the bottom Please left. Call our support immediately. I, I got a, security my, message. You know, my start menu. Your computer has been locked up. Okay, your now IP on the bottom you see the type here to search. Or consent to visit websites yep. that contains identity theft virus. Now in that in that search, I want you to type in type in the word run. R U N run. Please attempt to shut down or restart your okay. computer. Doing that may lead to data loss. When you type run theft. on the top is you see the best match and it says run app. Activity. Please call our support uh, immediately. No, it doesn't do that. Important security message. When you type run in that search, what comes up? up? 
Nothing happened. Your IP address was used without your knowledge or consent. So you're not doing websites things correctly, I believe. Identity theft virus. Because you, you're getting to half the things the and half the things you're missing, I believe, or something is happening. Please do not let's let's well, try that this. again. Right, listen, I have this, I have this message. That may lead to data loss it and says identity that theft. my computer is all screwed up and I call you guys. The computer lock is aimed to stop illegal activity. And so, yeah, I, you so told me that already. Yeah, it's all screwed up. You told me that already. Maybe you can hear this. Can you hear this voice in the background? Your IP address was used for I don't or consent to visit websites I can hear that, that. Identity I can hear that virus. To unlock the computer please I can hear that should I sh It tells please me not, not to shut off the computer or restart but should your I do computer that? doing that may lead to data loss and no, identity sir. theft No okay. sir Sir, I am I am guiding you, so I want you to follow my instructions, so we we uh, we get that sorted out. Well, I'm okay. trying. I'm message. trying to do that. I'm trying your my best. Your computer here. has been locked up. Your Sir, IP let me let me get your device your connected to the Microsoft to server. Okay. So I want you to hear me very carefully. To unlock the computer, please call you ready? Immediately. Yeah, I'm ready. Please do not attempt so on the to computer, you have a power button. Do you know where the power button is? That may lead to data loss and identity sure. theft. The computer lock is Hold that button down. Hold activity. it down for 10 seconds. Please call our support immediately. The computer screen to... goes blank. Important you let me security know. Message. You want me to shut off the computer? Your computer has been locked up. Your IP address no, we are, we are getting the device connected to the Microsoft server. That contains I see. Okay, okay. hold down the power key for, to unlock the for computer, 10 seconds. Please call yes, sir. Support immediately. Okay, one, please do not attempt to two, shut down or restart your computer. Three, doing that may lead to data four, loss and identity theft. Five, the computer lock six, is aimed to stop illegal activity. Seven, Please call our support eight, immediately. Nine. Oh, it stopped. Hmm. Okay, it, now let the button go. Away. Yeah, it went away, okay. Let the button go. Okay. Now, I want you to press the button again, but this time just press it once and turn, turn it on. Okay. Now, once you turn on, keep me posted what's coming up on the computer screen. Keep me posted. Okay, just a second here. It's coming up. Mm hmm Okay, cool. I'm back to my uh, my desktop. Thank you What do you much. see now? Well, I have my desktop. What do so you I, see now? I see my regular desktop. Sir, I... I Sir, right now we are connected your device to the Microsoft server, so don't do anything unless I tell you. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So what do you see on your computer screen now? I have my desktop. What do you see? You see your wallpaper, the icons? Oh, yeah. I see or what do you yeah, see? Yeah, my desktop, wallpaper, icons. Yeah, my, you know. Okay. Uh, in fact, I see Sir, my, if you're looking uh, on, if you're looking. I see my, yeah. my Google Chrome is up and... Uh, and so, yeah, everything okay. seems to be working. So I want you to, if, you, if you're looking on the very bottom left of your computer screen, mm -hmm. you see a magnifying glass? Yep. It says type here to search. Click in there. Okay. And in that search, type the word run, R-U-N, run. Okay. Now okay. when you type run, you see that you on the top you see here on the top it says best match yep and below the best match what do you have uh it's a it's a blank uh you know just a, a i don't know what you call it a box a rectangle so below the best match what do you have i i said it's an empty box I'm sorry. I, I said it's an empty box, like where I should type something. Okay. Now, in that box, what does it say? The box is empty. Well, it says run, but, it, you know. Okay. Now, in that box, I want you to type the word quick, Q-U-I-C-K. Okay. Quick. Okay, got it. You got the word quick? I did. I typed in the word quick. After the quick, I want you to put in A, the letter A. It's all one word. Okay. S as in Sam. Okay. S as in Sam again. Okay. 
I as in Indiana. Okay. S as in Sam. Okay. T as in Tom. Quick assist. Mm -hmm. Now you see an option below, it says OK, click OK. Okay. Okay, got it. You click OK, you see something coming up on your screen on the left. Quick Assist. Yeah, it says install Quick Assist, Microsoft Support. You see there it says open Microsoft Store. Uh, quick Assist, Microsoft Store, yeah. Click on, now uh, you see open Microsoft Store, click on it, and you will see the Microsoft Store coming up. says get in store app it says it enables two people to share a computer or remote yep device. now it will yep it will ask you for a code you ready uh, it says code from assistant do i have to get it first oh it's oh i see here it's down at the bottom yeah okay i got it mm -hmm. code from assistant yep. Please. yep let me help you with the code give me a second i want you to type in the code in there you ready uh, when I when I click on that box, it pulls up uh, a window that looks like a help window or something. It, I can't type in the box. You type it in there. You ready? Well, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Go ahead. I type in V as in Victor. Well, as as I said before, when I when I click in that box to type, something, it has mm -hmm. a bunch of X's in it or asterisks. And when I when I click, yeah, in that it doesn't box, matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, but it, it doesn't does, matter. It, it does matter because when I click in it, it pulls up a, a square that has an X in the upper right hand corner, and then simply a replica okay. of the page that I'm looking at. Okay, so it's a replica of that page. Yeah. So I, don't I have to install something now, here first or something like that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, you see you see on the, on the quick assist, you see get? Yeah, yeah, up top it says get and store app. But I, when I, it's got a, a red circle around it with a line through it. Okay. Can, uh, what, what, do you see, what do you see on the top you said? Get okay, the store yeah. in the app? At the, yeah, it says it right, but it, when I try to click on it, it's just a, a red circle with a line through it, like the no parking sign. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you close that? Uh, close what? Close that box. Close the quick assist box? Mm -hmm. Okay, I did that. Okay, the box is gone. What do you see now? Well, I'm back to my wallpaper and desktop with the icons, and I yeah I got my okay. Uh, so, uh, my, my Google Chrome is open too, but that's from before. So on the bottom you see the type here to search. You see that? Uh, yeah, like we did before. Yeah. Yeah. Click in there, and type in run. Okay. Okay. Now you see there on the top, you see it says run app. You get a box on the bottom left? Yeah, but it doesn't say run app. It just says run. Okay. Now on that run box, it says open, and next to open, what do you have in that box? Sir? Next to where it says run, it's just empty. It just says run. It's okay, type in in there. Mm -hmm. Type in the word quick. Q U I C K. Okay. okay. After the quick, I want you to put in A, the le the letter A. Got it. S as in Sam. Yeah. S as in Sam again. Okay. 
I as in Indiana. Okay. S as in Sam. Yep. T as in Tom. Yep. Like we did before. Can you just confirm? Yep. Can you just confirm what have you typed in? Quick assist. Quick space assist. So there is no space. It's all one word. Oh, it's one word. Oh, let me try it one more time. Okay, let's see. I pull up quick assist. Okay. Okay, and then I get uh, pretty much the same as I did before. It asked me to install quick assist Microsoft support. Click on, click on install. Okay, and clicking on install here. And then it, it pulls up. Uh, Do you need some help installing Quick Assist? An update is required to continue using Quick Assist. Mm -hmm. You will need to get the new version from the Microsoft Store. Here's how to how click to on open Microsoft Store. I, I click on the link, I guess. Okay, I did that. Okay, and I'm back to that same screen we had before. And it says, okay. it says so on the way you go ahead. But it says quick assist underneath that Microsoft Corporation, and then to the right it says get in store app, and under that the click word on. free. And when I try to click, click on, on click, click on get, click on get. Yeah, it won't let me because I I get a a red circle with a line through it, like that no parking sign I was talking about. So you see free? Click on free. Uh, free is not a link. I can't click on it. Okay. I mean, as far Do as, one I, thing. as, far as I, you know, as far as I'm concerned, we got rid of that horrible message that seems to be gone. So, so the, I, I think you guys the infections are still there on the device. But you guys must have unlocked it because I mean it looks fine now. Sir, so the infections are still there on your device. Trust I me see. on it. Okay, all right. Sir, so I want you to look on the very bottom left. You see, uh, you see that it says uh, type here to search. Yeah, sure. We did that before. Yeah, click inside that search. Okay. And in that search, I want you to type in type in Microsoft Store. It's two words. Okay. Now, when you type Microsoft Store on the top, you see there it says uh, Microsoft Store app. Correct. Click on it. Okay, that, I did that. It takes me. Now to you see the, the Microsoft Store coming. Right. Yeah, I do. I, I got the Microsoft Store. Can you make it big? Can you maximize the page? Sure. Now, if you look on the on that page on the very top, you see it says search apps, games, movies, and more. Correct. You see yeah. that? Mm -hmm. Sure. I want you to click click in click in there. Okay. And in that box, I want you to type in type in in there. Type in A as in Alpha. Okay. L as in Love. Okay. A L. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Do one thing, sir. Can you erase that? Can you erase the erase what have you typed? Erase that uh, that you have typed in. Yeah, and, sure. And type in quick Q. Erase that and type in quick Q U I C K. Okay, I did. When you type quick, the search results you see there it says uh, quick assist. Quick, quick, quick books, quickly, quick assist, team viewer. HP Quick Drop, Quick Look, you see, Files app. You see Quick Assist? I do. You see yep. Quick Assist? Click yep. on it. Okay. Okay, and it takes me back to that same page we've been at all afternoon. You see Get? I see Get in Store App. But it's, it's blued out, and when I try to click on it, I get a red circle with a red line through it, just like we did before. Okay, go on the top where you typed in quick, click in there, erase the quick, and type in A as in alpha. 
All right, wait a minute. L as in wait, love. Wait, wait, I got to back up here. Okay, A L. Okay. P as in problem. P as in problem, yeah. E as in Edward. Okay. M as in mother. Mm hmm. I as in Indiana. Mm hmm. X as in X ray. Mm hmm. Now the search results you see below it says Alpha Mix Remote Desktop Control. You see that? Mm hmm Click on it. Okay. You click on it, you see the Alpha Mix Remote Desktop Control and you see get. Yes. Click on get. Okay. You see the download and the installation happening? Yes, it's doing something. Now, once the download and the installation is done, you will see something there for open. You see open, I want you to click on it. Yep, I just did. And I got a, a blue box with um, uh, a bunch of words. Um, you, you want me to read them to you? It says no, connect, you clicked on connect, open. Log in, sign up, or exit. And then up top it has an ID and a password. What is the ID, sir? Okay, the ID is six seven zero nine six four two seven eight. Mm -hmm. Six seven zero. Mm-hmm. Nine six four. Can you repeat that? Uh huh. Two seven eight. Six, seven, and the zero. password? Oh, password. 81548. So leave your mouse. Let the mouse go. Okay. So you got a pen and a paper? I do. Now, so on this computer, generally, what do you do? Email, shopping, banking, playing games. What do you do? Uh, I don't play any, well, that's not true. I do play chess with my brother, but I do that online. Mm -hmm. um, I, mm -hmm. I don't do much online banking, but mm -hmm. it's so much easier just to walk up to the bank, mm -hmm. which is right around the corner. Uh, I send emails, and I, uh, most of the time I just read the paper and, you know, read books and articles and magazines and stuff like that. Okay. So the infections on this computer, they are all coming from your email. From the okay. email? Oh now, my. this computer is connected. Yeah. So I should this stop, computer I should is stop connected using to an email, internet. Then, huh? I should stop using email? Mm, so, so we cannot get to that conclusion, but we will find that out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, if you look on your computer screen, sir, I am moving the mouse for you. You see that? Uh, I see a box. Oh, yeah, I see a few things happening. Yeah. Yeah. Let me close this. So I'm assigning a technician, so bear with me. So this is a Chromebook that you're using? 
Uh, this is I a Chromebook was, that you're using. I thought it was a Windows. My kids gave it to me. I thought it was a Windows computer. So it's not a Windows computer, but it's a mini version. A mini version. Well, it works really well mm. for me, I have to say. My kids gave it to me. My son said to Dad, it's a, a really good machine because it, it keeps people from messing around with it. So I, I thought that was really good. So I don't I don't know why I got that <coughs> terrible message saying that it had been, you know, it was a Windows message telling me that my Windows computer had been all messed up. So the infections on this computer, they are all coming from your email. Okay, how does that work? <coughs> so when you got this device, did you call, did you call Microsoft as you're talking to us right now? So they help you set up the device? That's the initial setup that you do? No, my son did it for me. <clears throat> so always remember, it does not really matter where you buy the device from. It does not really matter. Whether it's Best Buy, whether it's Walmart, whether it's Geek Squad, whether it's online, whether it's a gift, it does not really matter. But what matters is, is when you get the device, you come back home, you should always call Microsoft first, so they help you set up the device. That's the initial setup that you do. Well, my, I assume my son did all Always that remember that. It was, all, it was all set up for me. I mean, I trust my son to take care of these things. Mm -hmm. Now, but your son did not get those secure windows security activated for you, sir. Because Microsoft gives you a security with the computer already. I so see. Microsoft will never ask you to buy or never ask you to pay any extra money to anyone in terms of protection or Great. in terms of security. Great. Okay. So, you, so, so I will for, be asking my technical team. You work for team. Microsoft, right? Yes, sir. You're oh, talking great. to a security manager, okay. right? Okay, terrific. That's great. So I will be getting the Windows security activated for you because that will be the security that will be working for you from now onwards. You don't need anything else. Okay, that's great. Okay. Yeah. Now the infections on the computer, so they are all coming from your email. They are all coming from your email. So I can use a different email then, right? So my question... I'm sorry? So I should use a different email system? So using a different email will not fix the problem because these infections have been on your device uh, since the day you got the computer. Okay. It's yeah. been on your computer since the day you got the computer, sir. But being a Windows computer, the computer has been protecting you all the time. Cool. Okay. But today you clicked on something that was causing a problem to your identity. That is why the alert came up to keep you safe. I see. So I will be asking my technical team to get the Windows security activated for you. So that will be the security that will be working for you from now onwards. You don't need anything else. Great. Okay. Now, like as I was saying, the infections, the viruses, they are all coming from your email. So my question to you, so on the computer, basically not today, but any time in the past, did you access any dating websites or any illegal websites, like any porn website by accident? Hey, did you access no. any of those? Absolutely not. So if you did not access those pages, then I believe it's the multiple hackers on the computer. So they are using your identity. They are using your IP address. And they are downloading pornography. 
Wow. And you won't believe they are downloading child pornography using your information, using well, your identity. That's terrible. I better run out and get a new computer. I'll call my son. And, and that is something computer. really. So that is something really offensive, illegal against the law. I'm sure you know that. Yeah, absolutely. And it's your information being used for that Ill illegal activity. Well, I'll get my son to send me a new computer right okay. away. So what I'll be doing is I will be getting this information reported to the legal authorities. I will be reporting this information to the FCC. You know what FCC is? Sure, Federal Communications Commission. Yeah, and I will be giving you a case ID. You have a pen and a paper? Yeah. I want you to write down the case ID is FCC. That's F as in Frank, C yep. as in Charlie, yep. C as in Charlie, yep. 788. Four nine five six two. Seven eight eight four nine five six two. Yeah, so this case ID will help you defend yourself. Well, will help I, you defend yourself. That's great. Take, I appreciate that. <laughs> you sound like stating that you the sound pornography like you have a cold. that you have a cold. I'm sorry. You yes, sound sir. like you have a cold. I, I'm sorry. I said you sound like you have a cold. You're coughing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I do have a cold. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you feel better. Now, I'm asking the technical team to start the work on the device, sir. You hear me? Yeah, great. So what I'll be doing is, so I will be getting this information reported to the legal authorities, and I'll be giving you a case ID. You have yeah. a pen and a paper? You already gave it to me. It's FCC 788-49562. You already gave it to me. I got it written down. Now, I will be also, if you look on your computer screen, if you come on the computer screen, yep. I will be also putting my information on the computer screen. Bear with me. Okay. You see that? That's my name. Okay, cool. That's my employee ID. Great. And that's the FCC. Good. So I will be also mailing you a copy of this case information. Excellent. You have the control of your keyboard. Can you fill in your details there for me, like the name, the address? Sure. Can you fill in that for me there? Uh, you need my help, let me know. No, I don't, I don't need your help. No problem with caps on here. Oops. Oops. I guess I got to use my mouse. Okay, I guess it's that's the same. Okay. Hello. Yes, sir. yes, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, I can. Sir? Yeah. Now, I will be 
the, the the copy that I'm mailing to the FCC, I'll be mailing that to you as well. You should right. be getting the copy within 10 working days at this mailing address that you've given me. Can Can you stop moving your mouse? Stop moving your mouse. I was just making the screen a little bit smaller. I gotta get back to my notepad. That's okay. Stop. Leave leave your mouse. I'm trying to get back to notepad so I can. Stop moving. Stop moving your mouse, sir. I'm moving the mouse for you. Okay. Are we done? I guess we're done, huh? So can you give me a minute? Can you are, give me a minute? Are we all done? You got rid of that infection, and, you, and you're going to take care of all the legal stuff. So I guess we're done, right? So the copy that I'm mailing to the FTC, I'll be mailing that to you as well. You should be yeah, getting you, the copy within 10 working days. Yeah, you said that. You've, you've said that you've given me. you said that twice now, so I, I got it. I got it. So we're we're done, because i got to get now, down. i got to go pee here pretty quick. So I, We're done, right? We, I'm sorry? We, we're done. You have all the information you need, and now I can go do something else, right? Okay. Right? Sir, uh, you don't want me to fix the computer, you don't want me to do anything, is that what you're saying? Well, I thought it was all fixed, that you were taking care of it, it was all done. I thought sir, we if, all done. sir, you and I, you and I, you and I are moving the mouse, so oh, the yeah, technical I, team cannot I fix know. the computer. Well, I'm just trying so to... Can you stop moving a mouse? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Now, sir, as your IP address was used for the illegal activity, as your identity was used for the pornography, my technical team also mentioned saying that your financial information has been compromised too. Okay. And this is, I'm talking about your debit and your credit card getting compromised. Well, that's easy to fix. I'll just, I'll just so my call. question to you... That's real easy to fix. Yeah. The cards starting with these numbers have been compromised. So. Well, so my question to I you, any credit or a debit you have, Yeah. I want you to check if you have any credit or a debit starting with the three. Not with any the three. credit or a debit card starting with the four. I have one with a four. One with a five. Now, any credit or a debit card starting with the But not one, the with, five. A, not one with a six. Now starting with the four, is that a debit or a credit? Uh, it's a MasterCard, so I guess it's a credit card. Or is that way to now Starting with the four. Maybe that's my Visa card. Starting I with the four. I can't remember. I got one Visa card and one MasterCard. I would, so why don't you get the card, sir? I would need to get the card. Okay. Now starting with the four, you said that's a uh, that's a that's a Visa card. That's a credit card. Uh, yeah, that's a credit card. Now, if you look at the back of the card, so you should see a telephone number, a customer service number. Yeah. Like a one eight hundred number at the back. Can you yeah. help me with that? But you need the number. Yeah, the telephone number, sir. All right. Wait a minute. I gotta go get the card. Why don't it, wouldn't it be easier just to call Please. the bank and tell them to cancel the card? Sir, so your mean, phone line your your phone lines a, are your phone lines are compromised, sir. That is the reason I am taking the initiative to get you connected on a secured line, on a secured connection, where the hackers or anyone cannot listen go through your verification process well, I gotta, that you will be having with the bank. I can use my my wife's phone card or I mean her cell phone. That was not compromised, sure. I'm sure. Everything, every, everything that's every electronic device in the house is compromised. Well, I'll, I can just the bank is so right who, around the corner. Who, I'll who, just 
I'm, so I'm getting who's, it. I'm, I'm getting who's that saying no in the back room? What? Who is that? Who's that person saying no in the background? They're not saying no. They're saying pills, because it's time for me to take my medication. See, it says pills. It's on my my phone. It's an alarm. Mm -hmm. So I'm. So I'm, I want you to check any credit guys, or the, no, the card starting guys, with the four. You. It's going to take me a while to get my medication in. So. I'm going to have to hang up and go get my meds and you guys can poke around and do whatever you need to do. But I, I'm, I'm just going to walk down to the bank after a while and tell them to cancel the credit cards. They're right around the corner. So it's, it's real easy. <laughs> ah, you realize the jingles up for half time. Anyway, that was fun. That was very interesting. It did some interesting stuff. In this one. It's very unusual. So that's cool. Let's see if he's still poking around in there.